Yep, just boulders. Boulders in the way. Don't mind me. Climbing in a waterfall. Not good, man. This is nuts. This is actually madness. Mount Mansfield is the highest mountain in Vermont, soaring above the rest of the state at an elevation of 4,393 feet or 1,340 meters. With its high point status and strenuous hiking trails, it's a destination for travelers all around, and I would soon be the next person to reach its beautiful summit. Ever since making that video about every state's high point and seeing the phenomenal response to it, I've become fascinated with high points and started traveling to them myself. Before this trip, I had reached seven high points, but most of these were ones you could just drive right up to the top of, or very easy hikes like Tim's Hill and Charles Mound. Mansfield would be the first true mountain climb of my life. Morning everybody, it's August 30th and today is finally the day that I'm heading off to Vermont, which is the final state that I need to complete the lower 48. I am super excited for this trip and I've never really done a travel vlog like this before, so hopefully this turns out well. I am going to be traveling solo on this trip. I think it's going to be my third solo trip where I've gone off to a random US state that I've never been to before and just gone there for a couple days and come right back to Chicago. On the agenda for this one are two state high points. First is, of course, Vermont's highest point, which is Mount Mansfield. I'm going to be hiking up that hopefully tomorrow and then the day after. After that, I'm going to drive up to the top of Mount Washington. That's the highest mountain in New Hampshire, so I'm really looking forward to this trip. It should be a lot of fun, and hopefully I can get some nice footage for you guys. Before I head off to the airport, though, we gotta say goodbye to the cats. See you later, Ben. Look how lazy you are. Look at you. Bye, Sachi. <laughs> And I was off to Vermont. My journey there had me connect through National Airport near DC, which was way nicer than I remember from my 8th grade DC trip, and home to this lovely tourist trap. My flight out of there was delayed by an hour though, so it was too dark to get any nice footage of landing in Burlington. But at long last, I had arrived in Vermont and officially been to every American state except Alaska and Hawaii. Alright, hey everybody, made it to Vermont safely. We are here at the Airbnb in Winooski, which is just outside of Burlington. Really excited for today because today is the day that we are going to climb Mount Mansfield. So let me show you guys my equipment and everything that I'm going to bring up to the top of the mountain and how I'm going to document this whole process for you. Got my GoPro here. This is one of the older ones. It's like a Hero 7, I think. Gonna be having that strapped on top of my U Chicago hat. Gonna look pretty ridiculous, but it'll get the job done. Hopefully get some nice time-lapse footage, capture my experience on the way up to the top. Got my old, very, very fashionable hiking boots here. These are also just gonna get the job done. Not gonna be looking nice or anything, but they are good for hiking. It's also kind of chilly today here in Vermont. I think the high at the top of the mountain is supposed to be only in the 40s or something, so I have just this raincoat. Hopefully it's gonna be warm enough, but I don't plan on staying up there for too long, so I should be okay, but gonna be kind of interesting to see what it's like up there. That's pretty much all there is to it, so let's get driving. The mountain is in the same county as Burlington, so it wasn't too long of a drive, but I did get to experience rush hour traffic in Vermont. My plan was to take Sunset Ridge Trail up to the summit, which starts in Underhill State Park west of the peak, and only a little ways up the foot of the mountain ridge. I had read that parking would fill up fast, and sure enough, I got one of the last spaces in the lot at 8.30 in the morning. I wasted no time starting on my journey though, which began right there with a short walk on the main road and shortcut trails to the start of Sunset Ridge Trail. Well, I'm up here at the mountain. It is a beautiful day. It's pretty chilly though, and I got my GoPro thing on my head. Looks ridiculous, but here we are. I'm just starting to climb. It's absolutely beautiful, but I'm not sure what all that noise is. There was some type of construction work along the road that zigzagged across the shortcut trail. I couldn't really tell what they were doing, but on my way down, I could see them cutting down a bunch of trees. In any case, the noise didn't last long, and the piece of the mountain looming ahead regained control. Also, it is definitely chilly up here. I can see my breath. It is colder than I thought. Oh, I can hear some sort of waterfall coming up. Hopefully we can see that from the road. Sounds pretty loud. Oh, wow. There it is. Pretty damn awesome. Oh, there's more over here. That's even more beautiful. This would be the first of hundreds of waterfalls along the climb, a sign of slippery times to come. It had been raining all day right before I landed in Burlington, according to the rental car guy. According to my phone, I've made it just about to where I thought I was going to start the hike, but parking was way farther down than I thought. Ah oh, yeah, there's all the trail stuff up there. Beautiful. And here we are. So Mount Mansfield Chin, 2.2 miles. That's the high point. I better sign in if I uh, end up dead on the top of the mountain, huh? 
Oh, the, the paper's all soggy from the rain yesterday. Now this is something really cool that I think I mentioned in the High Points video, that the top is Alpine Tundra, which is really cool. Hopefully we get to see some really unique foliage and it's gonna be chilly as hell up there, but I'm so excited to get to the top of this mountain. Let's do it. It's so beautiful here. There's so many little waterfalls on the side of the trail and ferns and greenery. But what I've heard about the trail is that a lot of it is above the tree line. So pretty soon we should come out of all of this lush foliage and onto just rocks. Got a little flooded world forward moment here. Man, these bridges are just everywhere. Every few feet, there's just another bridge. And that's a really big waterfall. Oh, that's beautiful, man. The trail is a little bit muddy, but I kind of expected that from the rain yesterday. And we are going to the Sunset Ridge Trail, one of the most popular, famous trails in the Soul State. And another bridge. Oh, the waterfall has migrated onto the path here. Oh, geez. Yeah, see, it's going to be kind of slippy on these rocks. Now, I did almost consider coming tomorrow because I knew it was raining, could be slippy here, but the weather was supposed to be a lot warmer. I prioritized being cool over being dry. Oh, yet another picturesque little bridge here. Really muddy though. Oh God. Oh. Over several more bridges and streams I went, working my way through the woods and gradually realizing just how rocky the trail was becoming. I'm getting into some bigger boulders here now. This is where the real climbing starts. Try to use these tree roots. There's just a mangled mess of roots and boulders and mud. Crazy. So far my hiking boots seem to be doing me well. Very grippy, not slipping on this water. At least for now. Things did keep going well for a while until I hit probably the biggest obstacle of the whole climb. A very slippery stretch of boulder that I was not prepared for in the slightest. Really can't afford to slip. Uh, not good, man. Uh, oh. Shimmy down, shimmy down. Gotta get over to here. Get a grip. Get a grip on the ground. Okay. Got a footing now. Yeah, we're gonna go on this side. Oh, that was ridiculous. I really hope I got that. Kind of embarrassing, but part of the process. Never really done anything like this before. Having learned my lesson, and in good time too, as the boulders relentlessly appeared on the trail, I pressed onward to the top of the trees. I was not expecting that, but we're all right. Doing camera check here. We're still rolling. That's good at least. If you guys can't tell, I am, I'm dripping and drenched in sweat. Uh, it feels weird to be this sweaty when it's like 50 degrees out, but just taking a little breather up here. I feel like we're close to the top. So here's the fork in the road. This is the Cantaweaver Rock, which I saw on the map. This way says the summit. I haven't come as far as I thought, but we are at the top almost of the tree line. You can see the boulders up here. Oh, biggest puddle yet. Disgusting. Waterfall, slippery galore. The trail started to take on a different feel around here as the trees got smaller and more cold climate looking. Can't see much of the view yet, but I can see some conifers. Good sign. Yep, just boulders. Boulders in the way. What am I supposed to do here, man? I guess I go around here. Uh, that'll do, I guess. Oh, oh shit. Huh. That's bad. It is just really so much water here. Don't mind me climbing in a waterfall. Oh, you can start to catch a glimpse of the view. Oh my god. At long last, I emerged onto what was the first real glimpse of how things would be above the tree line. Morning. Morning. Wow, that is something. Yeah, this is this is some boulder in here. God damn. Let's do it. Oh. It's an actual fucking boulder. At this point, I was venturing into a landscape I'd never experienced before, with narrow bits of trail through the last small pine trees and unmatched views. I could not stop looking behind me every hundred feet. Absolutely fantastic, man. Wow. But we're not done yet. 
Oh my god, dude. This is nuts. This is actually madness. Wow, quite the canyon through trees here. Oh my god. You know what I gotta say? Mad respect to those riders with Google. Carrying those cameras on them. Oh my god. They went up freaking Mount Everest. Huge respect to them. Huge respect, that's all I gotta say. I was aiming for the false summit to take a quick break, right in view and in front of the true summit. After several more stretches of trail like this, I arrived at the temporary plateau. Looking back at where I came from, I am really proud of myself. I've been training, so yeah, I'm glad I made it this far. And not too much farther to go. Okay, switched out my GoPro battery. Hopefully, will last at least to the summit. I don't really need the descent, but I really want to catch getting to the actual peak here. This water looks so delicious, but I just know people have been putting their feet in it, so we're not gonna drink it. It's a shame about the cloud. I hope it clears. It was so much sunnier before. I mean, it's still pretty clear over this way, but yeah, I don't know. Just a big cloud rolled over here. Morning. Hi. Oh. <laughs> After that brief encounter with that adorable dog, I ventured deeper into the cloud that had settled around the summit. With the winds picking up, eventually my trail converged with the other major trail to the top, and the end was in sight. Wow. Oh my god. Not sure if you guys can see them. I see those two guys are in front of me up there, so... Looks like we swing our right, and then come back around to the top. Those of you guys in Discord will have just seen my pictures that I sent. Shout out to you guys, sneak peek. And with that, we must press on, and that is quite the sight in front of me. God damn. Now, I wish we didn't have to go downhill, because I'm looking up there. We got, we got a ways to go up, man. I'm not trying to go down right now. Really big puddle here. Yeah. Ow. Shit. Okay. Yeah, this is mosquito paradise out here. Really easy to twist your ankle and step into a foot of water, so. Ah! So I guess this is where those two trails converge. I came from Sunset. Underhill, that's where I started. It's three miles. That sign marked the beginning of the final push to the summit, where a bunch of trails along the top of the mountain ridge all met up. There were a lot more people around, and I knew my journey was almost over. Oh, little boardwalk things here. Sorry. No, you're good. Have a good day. Thanks, you too. Thanks. This is it, guys. Almost there. I can feel it. It has truly been quite a hike. Never done anything like this before, as I keep saying. But we're almost there. And I could not be more excited. I probably don't sound it. It's because I'm winded. <laughs> we're almost there, man. This is the last 30 seconds or so of my climb. As you can see, I was far from being the only one up there, so I couldn't make a huge celebration of my accomplishment, but on the inside, I was the happiest I'd been in a while. Climbing up this mountain, and then climbing back down too, was extremely tough, but I loved just about every second of it. I am itching to climb more high points around the US and the world now. Let me know in the comments where you think I should go next. Thank you all so much for watching this, I really hope you enjoyed my first travel vlog. Make sure to leave a like if you did, and subscribe for more content, and I will see you all next time.